Hello, and welcome to this special screening of Calamity Jane. I'm absolutely delighted that Cambridge Film Festival are having a musical strand. I've always felt that musicals were slightly underrated when it came to the history of cinema and the glory of it. You can also see these films at free screenings in community centres around the county. You can go and see Top Hat on the town in the Market Square. There are all sorts of ways to see them, but the biggest thing of all, and you folk who already here know this, is that these work on a big screen. If you're going to do a season of great movie musicals, you really cannot ignore Doris Day. And in this particular instance, not when she's dressed as a man and carrying a gun. This is one of the wonderful Western-based musicals, which sprang up very much in the wake of Annie Get Your Gun. This was Warner Brothers' attempt to match that film, and I think they pretty much do. Mainly because the songs are so strong. The way you've got Black Hills of Dakota, Whip Crack Away, and of course you've got Secret Love, which won the Oscar for Best Song that year. And you've got Doris absolutely in her pomp, strutting across the stage. Howard Keel brought in to match her. But above all, a love story in which we get totally and completely taken up and a real sense of fun and above all, joy. Doris Day managed to get all those things into that extraordinary athletic body and wonderfully expressive face. She really is 50s America for me. And here we have America mining its own Americana in a way that was never really to be pulled off to the same degree again. Calamity Jane is just gorgeous. Enjoy.